Have a seat in front of my car. No. Have a seat in front of my car. No. Karens love attention and jump at any chance to be in the spotlight, especially when the cameras are on. Cool. Give me a phone. I'm not playing a big song. You don't understand who you're dealing with. I don't care. You should be. You should be. Today, we'll showcase five of these attention seekers, flaunting their arrogance and entitlement, even when on police body camera. On March 21st, 2023, 24-year-old Simone Brinner Kim caused such a commotion on an airplane in Florida, the authorities had to be called in. And after a swift response from Miami-Dade police, her arrogance earned her a trip to jail. That's great, that's great. They don't want to get off. They don't want to get off. They don't want to get off. It's good. Guys, I don't know why she got kicked off. This is my yeah, first. I'm an right army veteran. I know yeah. how to yeah. conduct yeah. myself. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I know how to conduct myself. Put your bags in the front. Why? Take off the person. Why? You guys are gonna go to jail. Take off the person. Why are we going to jail? Take off the person. I'm not talking about how we go to jail. No, 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 no. Relax, relax, relax. No, you're making me uncomfortable. Relax, relax, relax. You're making me uncomfortable. Why am I going to jail? Relax, relax. All right. Man, stop her. 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 Can you relax? I'm telling you, I'm, I'm fine. You're not. You're not one acting crazy. Look at my crazy. arm. Look at my arm. Because you're acting crazy. No, I came off the plane by myself. You didn't come and get me off the plane. Lady, we already told you you were under arrest. No, you did not. They yes, told me I had to get off the plane. Can I please, can you let go of me like this? Excuse me, sir. I am a sergeant. You're not acting like a sergeant. You're not acting like someone who's been You're not either. You're not either. You're under arrest. You're acting like it. Calm down. Excuse me. I don't want to talk to you. Calm down. Most Karens like her have a twisted sense of morality, flaunting their status to impose their ideals on others. They often play the victim card to dodge accountability, shifting the blame onto others instead. She's kicked off. You're I don't know why I'm being arrested. I'm I'm so they you guys. Yes, you are. Yeah. Bring yeah. I tried to come yeah. right down. Okay, so I see stars. I'm not screaming. I'm not screaming. I'm, 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 I'm sober. A man can hold me, but not a man. Look at how. No, I will. I am not. I am not hyped. Look, I'm not hyped. Look at how he's holding me. He's trying to still detain me, ma'am. I. Relax. Look, okay, look. Figure it out. Ma'am, you don't want to talk to them. Don't worry. Talk to me, okay? Ma'am, can I speak to you? Can you come over here? Can we move around? You guys can both hold me. Move me away because I'm going to Then I will break out of this as quick as you ever think. I live too much. Listen, you're going to get more charges for no reason. We don't want to We got no charges. You're going to get more charges. Everybody on the plane has no issue with us. Can you listen to me? Oh, yeah. Can I be like, let go of? I'm very uncomfortable. Right. I'm not trying to run yeah. How can I fight with my hands like this? Just relax. I feel it's intact. Look, it's intact. Look, that was perfectly fine. Can I speak? Nobody has said anything to me. Relax. 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 Nobody has said anything to anybody. So why am I detained? Because what happened was they told you guys to get off the plane. You guys refused to get off the plane. I was not there, but that's what they're saying. No, we did not refuse. Even the airport people, the people that were sitting next to us said, why are they trying to kick you off? You can go on and ask everyone. Yeah, but you have to understand, whenever the airlines tell you to get off... I'm retired army. I understand. I get every baggage free. I get loaded for free. Why would I act in the way? Faced with a headstrong suspect, police used various de-escalation tactics to restore order. Their goal was to minimize flight disruptions and remove Simone from the airport. But her defiance only made things more difficult. It doesn't justify anything, but it's just by you acting like this. When I fight for your freedom, you don't fight for my freedom like I fight for your freedom. That's not fair. Okay, so you let them figure it out. I've never been arrested. You can look at my record. I've never been arrested like this. You want to take a picture for my photos? No, 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 take a picture. I need a picture. I am being reasonable. I need a picture of my Instagram so they know why I'm not home. I have parties tonight that I have to be at that I got paid 3000 for. Thank you. See, if anything, I should be arrested not her because she's not a slave. We're not talking to not listening. I don't feel comfortable talking to those two. I don't talking to those two. I'm just trying to tell you all that. He's talking to help her Okay, until we further investigate what's going on. He is a weirdo. For some reason, they want to have to get off. I didn't refuse to get off. When they told me to get off the plane, they told you guys to get off the plane. You can ask me yourself. I never refused to get off the plane.
Why would I refuse to get off if I can get on another flight? What does that mean? I'm an army veteran. I understand how to control my anger. That's why before when I got on here, when the guy was being smart about veterans, he was like, oh, you can't board. I said, yes, I can. With Frontier, you can. Now, every, are you listening to me or no? My hands are on and I will definitely see you. Miami Gate Police report. For a supposed veteran, her behavior contradicted the Army's code of conduct. Her attempts to resist and harm officers forced them to use physical means to restrain her. My bags are still on the plane! Two Louis bags! Yes, two! I don't know! I didn't even yell! I didn't even hit nobody! I Yet these efforts weren't enough, as Simone remained indifferent. It took a team of officers to restrain a suspect, driven by a warped sense of entitlement. That's why. That's why. That's not gonna stop me. I'm just gonna see you. Because I feel very mishandled. I've been by military police officers. Okay. Alright. Okay. Yeah. 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 Her case isn't the first of an unruly passenger being deplaned over a physical altercation. The FAA reported about 2,500 such cases in 2022. Even ESPN anchor Ashley Brewer experienced a similar incident, delaying her flight for two hours. Until the end, she relentlessly used her veteran status, gender, and race to justify her behavior. However, the officers stood firm, ensuring she knew who held the authority. Um, and my luggage that's not here, it's my carry-on. Carry no, like my luggage that's checked. Not the luggage I have right here. You guys are so ghetto, I can't wait to see you. So you don't want to go use the bathroom? I asked you with a tampon, but you're we not don't have a tampon. tampon. We you do not have one. You should find one, I'm a woman. I cannot find one, but I don't have one. You didn't look. You did not look. Where am I going to get one? Um, can you go to the front desk for the concierge? Well, there's no concierge, it's not a hotel. Well, then you better figure it out. You brought me here, I have a... T there's no way you don't have tampons. Excuse me, sir, when I board from here, they give me that. When I board, when I go to the bathroom... Excuse me, can I raise my hand and talk, or are you going to talk over me? The carry on to right here. Can I talk now? You've already talked enough. When you board the airplane, they give... Here, I can help you. When you board the airplane... She doesn't want to get out? She said... She said she's not getting out without a tampon. I don't... Simone Brina Kim was taken into custody by the Miami-Dade County Detention Center. 
she faced several charges including resisting arrest and trespassing after refusing to leave the plane. She also received a lifetime ban from Frontier Airlines and was released after posting bail. Do you think the travel surge of the last couple of years has created more travel Karens? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Entitlement seems to be a dominant trait of all Karens as they figure they're above the law. This Karen, pulled over for reckless driving on July 19th, 2022, chose chaos instead of complying with Indian River County deputies in Florida. This is one time she'll face the consequences of her actions. Why can't you so mean? I'm not mean. I'm just saying. Why can't you just talk to me in a, like, a logistic way? Like, I am. Anything to drink today? Let's see. Um, tea, coffee. Uh... Alcoholic. Oh, is that what you're asking? Yes. Yeah. Uh, tea, wine. How much alcohol would you say you've had? Let's see. Four ounces. Four ounces? Mm -hmm. How long ago? Two hours ago. Do you have a driver's license yet? Yeah. Can I see it? No. Why? Why do you use it? Because I asked you to see your driver's license. Now, I know. Now? now you're not pulling me over. You're like... Like I said, oh, we Jesus got a call Christ. about your driving. You just admitted... You're just mean. You're like this little... Okay, so hey. could you... We're not doing that. Then Sorry. she needs to go away. She's like cocky and not nice. She's signal one. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. So can I have your driver's license, please? No, ma'am. I would like to talk to this gentleman. Do you have a driver's license here? Yes, sir. Can I get that, please? Yes. She's had four ounces of wine since the last two hours. I did not see that. Repeat and redraw your, your little camera. Why are you going to be so mean? <laughs> so how about uh, Miss Delta? Miss Delta appeared biased against the female deputy, responding more readily to the male deputy. However, her smug attitude persisted throughout their questioning, regardless of who was speaking. Can we start all over, dear? Yes, let's please. You look mean. Why are we here? Why do you think we're, we're making contact with you? We're here because I have a flat tire. Okay. But how do you think we... Because I'm a and I drive too fast. Okay. <laughs> are you aware that you hit... Yes, I absolutely The road, are. the main yes. area, no, the concrete, the curb? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay. How many times did you hit the, the concrete curb? Uh, once. Okay. Is it uh, only that flat tire? Uh, yeah. Why, is there seven other flat tires that I don't know about? I haven't had a chance to look at your car. Would you okay, like well, so I was like, seriously, like, really? Are you really questioning me that hard? Like, oh, yeah. oh, don't, look at, don't look at all the other <laughs> injuries on the car. Well, you have scuff marks on this wheel and this tire. I bought, I, this is a, a bought car from somebody else, so <laughs> it's not fair for all the other damage they did. This, I did. I just did this, yes. You just did this one? Yes. <laughs> That's me. That's you. Okay. Bought the car like that. Okay. Like, stay right here. Why? Just stay right here. Don't go approach it. <laughs> well, I was going to see it. I was going to tell them all the other marks that I bought this yeah, car. All he's worried about is the tires. What are you buying? Where did this curb jump out at you at? Right up there. Like north of here? Oh my god, people south of here so if that's that's south that's north so i'm sorry we're just trying to get the story straight i popped my tire i ran it off the road i hit the tire yes it wasn't just her overconfidence that concerned them she tried to assert authority lecturing the deputies on state laws as if speaking to children disregarding their role as law enforcers so we had a concerned caller called on you about the way that you were driving did you tell my deputy that you had a few drinks or no drink? No. <laughs> she asked me what I had to drink. I said coffee, water, what I had to drink today. Did you have anything, uh, uh, alcohol? Yeah, there was alcohol involved in my day of drinking today. Okay, and how long ago was that? See, that's what she asked. <laughs> okay, well, how long ago did you have alcohol? Two hours ago. Two hours ago. Do you know what time it is now? I think it's 4.30, Which one? Oh, geez, come on now. I'm asking. Mm -hmm. What time do you think it is? Without looking at your phone. Yeah, that's not fair. Okay. You tell me what time it is. It's about 30. <laughs> that's close. Okay. And what kind of alcohol did you consume? Wine. And how much wine? I already know what this is all about. And I'm, I've never had a DUI in my life. Okay, well, let's, my not, let's not start now. My stepfather is a state attorney of Florida. And um, these are all like... 
It's just simple questions. I know they're simple questions, but they're interrogating questions that I just simply pulled over. And now, now you, I might get curb. arrested to go I to never, jail. I never said anything about jail. You've got mean lady girl, but she's nice and cute now. Okay. And you're the nice guy now. Okay. Yeah. Why was it being me? Yeah, you were. I was asking you a simple question. Oh. You told me you were going to Sebastian. I asked you why you were going to I'm south. from Sebastian. I live from Sebastian. So, yes. I was just trying to understand the story. It, it happens to me. I popped a couple really? tires. Yeah. I popped two tires in my sheriff's office car by hitting a curb. All right, well, then fine. I can do that. That's nice. Her insistence on doing things her way raised concerns as she denied being inebriated and made excuses. Her constant name-dropping and boasting about government connections made it harder for the deputies to assert authority. So what are we doing here? How about, how about you just step out and stand with me? So I can finish what I'm doing. What I'm not, are you I'm not going to put you in handcuffs. I just what are you doing? Checking your balance. Good luck. What does that mean? I have Achilles issue. <laughs> That's what that means. I don't know what that means. Well, there you go. I have Achilles. I got Achilles. Good luck on my balance. So okay, would you like not... to take off your sandals? It doesn't matter. I have an Achilles issue that I can't balance. That's why there's tape on my ankle. I don't know what that is, man. I'm not a mind reader. Okay, stand, so... Just stand for me. Stand outside your car. <laughs> okay. I'm going to call my stepfather. Not right now. Oh, yes, I am. No, because you're being detained. I don't want to put handcuffs on you. I'm being detained for what? For suspicion of drunk driving. So suspicion so is not... So how do you help me, right? You really think that's fair? I don't know what that fair? is. I'm not medical certified. Well, do you think I randomly just stuffed that on there in my leg? Well, stand there without leaning on your car. You want to take my shoes off? You can take your shoes off. No, wait. First off, I'm calling my stepfather before I do this. You're not. Yes, I am. Not. Tell me one more time why I could not call my stepfather. Either you cooperate, or I can just take you to jail. Oh, I'll cooperate. Okay, so put your phone down on top of the roof. But you're not, no, that's not right, that's not fair. I've already explained it to you. Despite the challenges, the police remained calm, as this wasn't their first encounter with a Karen like her. However, Delta's quarrelsome behavior persisted as they worked to enforce compliance. I was America. Why? Why don't Why I need to not? Yourself? Somebody called. Uh, oh my God. For driving. Somebody Suspicions called. Who driving. is that somebody? Huh? Where I don't are they? To, I don't need to tell where you. Where are they? I don't need are to they tell here? You. Then show me who they are and where they are. They were here. We already spoke to them. So those are the two old no. people? No. Okay. This does not seem right legally okay. and legality Put wise. Put your phone on the roof of your car, please. And take off your sandals so you can help me out with your balance exercises. What's your name? Buffington. Put your phone on the roof, please. I don't think that's right. I don't think I okay, have well, to. Okay, well, too bad. I don't legally Listen, think I have to. He's asked you three times. The next thing it that's going to happen is I'm going to take it out of your hands and I'm going to take possession of it. So you have an option to be an adult and put your phone on the car. Or I will take but the phone. What from am you. I going to do after I put my He's phone on the car? He's going to explain that to you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm helping you out, believe it or not. Yeah. Now you want to be balanced. Without a doctor's note and explaining what is going on, how am I supposed to believe you? Because who the f tapes their leg like this? Ride with me for a day and you'd be surprised when people. Well, do. I don't ride with you for a day. I mean, I don't have tape in the glove department. Okay. I mean, seriously. Would you, would you like to take off your shoes for better balance? No, these are like the best. They held my feet. Okay, then just stand on that line for me, please. Miss Delta believed that intimidation and self-importance could get her out of the situation. However, the deputies saw through her tactics and were ready to teach her a lesson in obedience. Leave your phone on the roof. I'm not sure this is legal. Okay. Well, so well, show me that it's legal. No, that's not our job right now. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It is absolutely your job. Sorry, you're refusing cooperation. You're no. refusing. Then stand right there. That's the second time I've already told you. Leave your phone alone. That's the third time I've told you. I'm calling my stepfather. Okay, then you'll be in place in handcuffs. All right. Listen, this is what, how this is going to work. You have an opportunity to prove to us that you are not driving under the influence. If you do not prove to us that what you, you are not driving under the influence, then we cannot get fair, to jail. And not fair thing. I smell Achilles. alcohol coming off your breath. I can take I it. I smell from your breath. Great. Call it anger and me. Step, over there. step over there. Nope. Don't step get in my there. car. Step over there. Don't no. touch me. Step over there. Wow. You can step right there. Now let go. Dude. <laughs> you do know. Jesus 
surprise me. Okay, let's go through this process again. What do you want from me? Stand right there. What do you want me to do? Stand on the line. So you want to stand on the crap that's unbalanced from an uh, even line to an uneven line. Yes. You want me to stand on that and balance myself? Yes. How is that fair? Stand on the left or the right hand side of that line. I'm following my stepmother. Go stand back on the line. You don't understand who you're dealing with. I'm and, not concerned. Um, I don't care. You should be. Stars. You should be. Go stand over there. You just stole my phone. I didn't steal your phone. I'm holding possession back of my phone. No. Go Hand stand me back over there. My phone. I can take you to jail. Go stand over there. Hand me Face back my his phone. car like he told you to do. Hand me my phone. No. Why do I have to do what you do and you can't give me my phone? Because we're not concerned I'm with your phone. I'm calling my stepmother. Who is a state attorney of Florida? Okay, turn around and face the car. As the heated exchange continued, this Karen seemed to forget she was dealing with law enforcement. Her attempts to impose her will failed, and her insistence on her rights made her sound like a broken record. Give me my phone! No. Oh my god! She just took my phone and she's touching my and touching things on my phone, which she should not be doing. So you put us in this position. You put us in this position, the way that you drive, that you hit that curb. I didn't mean to hit the curb. Well, God forbid. Someone need help. Huh? Someone need help for hitting a curb. I thought you guys were helping <laughs> instead of antagonizing me. And Not when we get reports of reckless driving on you. Reckless driving? Where are the people? I don't need you to tell you that. You cannot say that legally. Really? Without evidence of the okay. people that aren't here. Okay. He's already spoken to them. You can't arrest somebody without evidence. We have you're... evidence of you drinking and driving. I can smell alcohol emitting from your breath. I can smell That's alcohol evidence. emitting your breath. And I can actually see on the camera that you stole my phone. I didn't steal your phone. You stole my phone. I'm sorry. Is that legal for you to take my phone? I didn't take your phone. I'm preventing you from making a phone call because right now you're obstructing an investigation. What's You're the way I see it? DUI! Give me my phone. No! There is no law that nope. says that you Stand right there with your feet together face me. On an uneven, uneven surface. You can stand on the left-hand side of the crack or the right-hand side? That's really, really hot right there. Would you like to put your glasses on the trunk? I want my phone. Little, I'm going to put your phone, my phone. Are you refusing to uh, exercise this? No, the second I, time I've asked no, you. No, I'm not. I'm not. Then don't, then don't worry not about the phone. I'm not abusing anything. You will get your phone right as soon as he's done with First what off, he's doing. First off, it's really, really actually hot. Then put your shoes back on. I want my phone. No. I, I, I it's have like, no it's like a broken legal record. obligation. It's a broken record. We keep telling you no. I have no legal obligation. Would you like to put your glasses on your trunk? Without my phone. Would you like to put the glasses on your trunk? Finally, the deputies took action to end her brash, self-assertive behavior. She shifted from being conceited to modest, though she retained some of her defiance. Stop. Do you have anything that's on you that's gonna poke or prick me? Hello? Get off my Relax. Get in the truck. Get in the truck. Get stand it. up on you the running board. Try to get in the yes. truck without stand you up, pushing stand me. Up, stand up on the running you board. Son of a Scoot in there. I'm trying. Okay, push up on your feet. <laughs> but the assholes, I don't... <laughs> I want you to give me back my phone, you little thief. My phone is on your, the hood of your phone. Why would you leave my phone there? You should really reevaluate your your ability to be a police officer. You're listening? I can't help but listen. Okay. Are you still refusing? I didn't refuse anything. Yes. You kept you kept stalling. Okay. I didn't stall okay. So with what I observed okay. so far, and you failing to cooperate, I'm gonna have to arrest you for the UI and resisting from what I observed so far. Right. My first DUI ever. You chose to drive after drinking wine two hours ago. You chose to act like a child with your cell phone. It's just a cell phone. I'm sorry. You're, you're an adult. It's a cell phone. Whatever. Okay. okay. So you understand. Yeah. 
No, I don't understand it. You just said yes. No, I take it back. Okay. I do not understand. Come back. If you do not come back and reiterate what you just said to me, I would like to rediscuss what we spoke that Okay, you we can said. do that in the jail. Why am I going to go to jail? Miss Delta was taken to the Indian River County Jail and charged with driving under the influence. No further updates about her case were released to the public. If you were the female deputy, how would you deal with a suspect who didn't respect your authority? Let us know in the comments. And now for our next Karen caught on camera. When you drive a vehicle on the road, you need a driver's license. But this Karen, claiming to be a sovereign citizen, thought otherwise. But on January 17th, 2022, Gulf Breeze Police in Florida reminded her that ignorance of the law excuses no one. Officer Banks, Gulf Breeze Police Department. I'm pointing you over doing 54 and a 35. Any reason for that speed tonight? Where's the 35? Uh, before you got off the bridge. And uh, as soon as you came off the bridge, all this is 35. I was going 40, I thought. Nope. You got your license, registration, proof of insurance. You don't have to have a license to drive a car. Yeah, actually, yes, you do. You do not. 15, 7, 41 with me. Ma'am, step out the vehicle. Step out the vehicle. Am I, am I, you, am you, I a crime? Yeah, you are being detained right now. Step out the vehicle, young lady. I, I know my rights. Either you step out the vehicle, I will remove you from the vehicle. I know my rights. 15, 7, supervisor sovereign supervisor, right sovereign citizen. Did you hear what I said? You need to get a supervisor no. out here right now. No, you need to step out the vehicle right now. Young lady, right step now. out the I vehicle. Step out the vehicle. Last time I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask, and then I'm going to make you move, step out the vehicle. You're going to get me a supervisor out here right now. No, you're going to step out the vehicle right now. You are going to get me a supervisor out here right now. That's fine. We, I know my rights. What right is that? I, I do not have to have a driver's license to drive a car. I am not, this is not a commercial vehicle. Okay. I know my rights. Okay. That's what you want to stick with? Call a supervisor. Right okay. Now. Or else what? I guess we're not going to go anywhere then. Hey, okay. So just hold it for me and go and give me the channel. You need to get a supervisor out here that can that can educate you on what the, the law is. Okay, he's he could educate me on what the law is. But so you, do you have an ID or you have a driver's license? I, no, I don't have a driver's license on me. Okay, do you have one issued to you? Uh, in Mississippi. In Mississippi. So why would you need a driver's license to drive on the road if you don't need a license? That was years ago. Oh. While she insisted on her rights as a sovereign citizen, Officer Banks and Sergeant Turner firmly demanded she follow the law. Their back and forth led to a stalemate, with her claiming she was traveling, not driving. You hope it is? I really do. Yes, I do. Okay. What is your name and badge number? I already told you my name. It's Officer Banks. I didn't. And I, what is your badge number? It's Officer Banks. Are you failing to, to... Are you failing to give me your driver's license? I don't have to give you a driver's license to drive a car. This is not a commercial vehicle. Okay. I'm not driving. I'm traveling. Okay. I have all the laws back here. Okay. So you're not going to give me a driver's license? I'm not going to give you a driver's license. I don't have to give you a driver's license. Okay. I am I'm traveling. I don't, I don't have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Okay. In what state is that? Any state. It's common law. Natural law. Okay. Constitutional law. Okay. You need to get a supervisor out here. I do. Yes. Okay. So what? I'm what law? Your so just like I'm requesting your driver's license. Well, I'm sorry, I don't have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Okay. Sorry, Turner. A, she won't identify. She won't produce a driver's you, license. She's doing 58. Yes. Okay. I do not have let, to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Let 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 my officer speak first, then I'll speak to you. Her vehicle stopped for speeding. 54 and 35 coming off the bridge. She asked me where the speed limit was, saying that. Is before she got off the bridge. She actually did a U-turn. We were in the 35 zone. Mm -hmm. We pull over here. I introduce myself. I said, the reason, any reason why we're driving this fast? And I say, you got your license. She immediately goes into, I don't need a license to drive the vehicle. Okay. And then she said, I am traveling. Okay. So, you do need a license to drive the vehicle. And you do have to identify yourself to these officers. I, I do not have to have a license to drive the vehicle. Yes, you do. I do not. Well, you're wrong, but okay. I know common law, natural law. I don't law, care about common law. law. You're in the state of Florida. You're in the state of Florida. You're in the state of Florida. It doesn't matter in what state It does matter. I'm in the U.S. It does matter. So you better hope the information you gave us comes back as to being you. As the debate over state laws and natural laws went on, she attempted to stall 
with excuses. However, the officers quickly saw through her tactics and asserted their authority. So at this point in time, I need you to shut the vehicle off and step out of the car. I'm, I'm not getting out of the vehicle. You're going to get out of the car. I haven't been suspected of a crime. You are being legally stopped on a traffic stop. You are not being cooperative. It is not a Terry stop. What Trust me, I know the difference. You were speeding. speeding. Turn the vehicle off and get out of the car. Out of the car now. Undo the seatbelt. Turn the vehicle off. Turn it off now. Officer Schaefer, unbuckle her. Put all that down. Step out, turn around, face away from me. Turn around, face away turn from me. Turn around. I do not have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Yes, you do. No, I do not. Well, then you can tell that to the judge if you end up going to jail. I do not have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. I have all the laws right there. I don't care what car. I don't care what laws you say you I have. I know that you don't care because you, you're, then you, you're supposed then to be you, a police then officer. Then you should know that officer. this is that you should know that this conversation's over there. You don't care about the laws. You don't care about our rights. That's the problem. Have a seat. I need to call. Have a seat. I need to call, need to call somebody. Anybody. Yes, no. I do. You call somebody from Santa Rosa County Jail. Excuse me? Even while detained, she continued lecturing Officer Banks on sovereign citizen rights. He dismissed her claims and pressed on, reminding her of the real law, not her imagined one. I live right down there. Where's your ID out of, or your license out of? Mississippi. I just thought you didn't have one. You Sir, just said you don't need one. This is, this is, this is ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. This, We're not going to play any of these games with you tonight. It's not a game. This is my rights as a, it's not as a your citizen. Rights. It's not your rights. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You're in the state of Florida. The state of Florida requires you to have a driver's no, license it, to operate a motor no, vehicle. Sir, it, it doesn't. It doesn't matter what state I'm in. See, that's your problem is you say it doesn't matter, but it does. I have in this country, in it does. Car. I don't care about what laws you sir, say you have. You should care about the I laws don't, and the rights but of I, citizens. You're a we know your officer. rights. We know your rights. No, you don't. You don't I know, know your rights. Yes, no, do. you don't. Yes, I do. Because if you knew your rights, you knew or you would know and should know that you must have a driver's license I, to operate a motor vehicle. And I've if I find out that cops. you, if you find, if I find out that you are not giving us the right information I, to identify I've you, the right information. Why would you, I do that? I'm, I'm trying to use my rights as a legal citizen. Why, why would, would I do you that? do that? Well, you would do that because you don't have a valid driver's license. I don't have a valid driver's license. I don't have to have a valid driver's license. You do. No, I do not. Okay. I do not. Then we'll let the judge determine that. We will let. The, can I please call my no, mother? No, you cannot. Why? Are you an adult? Yes. Then why do you need to call your mother? To come and get me from jail since I'm being illegally detained. You, you will be able to call her once you get there. Can I at least lock my car? We will make sure it is secure. During their exchange, the police suspected her argumentative behavior was a tactic to hide something. Sergeant Turner continued to correct her misconceptions about the law. What are you going to do with my car? Probably tow it. Why? Because you are driving without a license. I don't have to have a license to okay. drive. That is commercial driving. No, Whether you agree not. or not doesn't matter. You're it's a mute take point. You from the top. You don't know your. You don't know the, the yeah, laws and the rights. Right. Law, we, we law, is, law is we, we canon do. law. We do. And and in this country, what laws do we follow? Canon law. Y'all follow canon law. We follow the rest natural of it. law. Common who is we? Law. Who is we? Who is we? Tell me who we is. Police officers. No, police officers. We, we are police officers. We're not peace officers. We're police officers. Yes, I know that now. So then your argument just needs to stop and you just need to sit there quietly. Sergeant Turner, please yes. just let me go home. No. Why? You do not have a valid driver's license. And you have done nothing but give my officers a hard time during I this entire but ordeal. I have to tell you that I have rights. You don't know your rights, I clearly. I haven't been to y'all. I haven't yelled at you. You have not away. been cooperative. Yeah. Just be honest. Sergeant, please. You don't have a license. I, okay, I'll, I'll never drive again. Yes, you will. Because you believe you don't have to have a I'll license. I'll go get a driver's license tomorrow. Well, wait a minute. Now, you, now you're telling me that you'll go get a license. Because you're telling but yet me you that I have no believe choice. You don't, that's correct. You have no choice. This is the road that's being taken. And this is what's going to happen. In the end, the truth will prevail, and their hunch was correct. She was hiding something. True to her Karen persona, she refused to back down. But the sergeant anticipated this and met her with equal resolve. You failed to appear on a court appearance.
for, what was it, expired license? Yep. So your Mississippi driver's license is expired. And for the registration. Okay, and the registration. You had a court date that you missed. Do you remember that? No, I don't. You don't or you choose not to? No, sir, I would not lie to you. I don't lie. I, I do not remember that. Okay, well, you do have a warrant out of Santa Rosa County. So We're regardless, in Santa Rosa County. You're in Santa Rosa County. Do you not know where you live? I just moved here. My when? mother lives on High Point. When did you move here? About two months ago from Pasigula, Mississippi. Okay. And you don't know what county you live in now after no, two months? No, I don't. I don't. That's not something that I use often. Okay. Well, you are going to jail tonight. Well, thank you, Sergeant Turner. You're welcome. I can do that too. I can, I can stare at you. You know that you are doing the wrong thing. Nope, I know. Y'all could let me go and handle my warrant tomorrow. No, we can't. Right, because y'all have something to prove. I don't have anything to prove. My officer certainly doesn't have anything to prove. What Can we want you to understand mother? is there are laws that you have to follow. Whether you agree with them or not is a mute point. Because if you choose not to follow them and you continue to act like this and do this, you're just going to constantly be going to jail. Is that what you really want? I'm not acting like or doing anything like. You told us that you don't have to have a driver's license to drive. And clearly you do. When she lectured on karma or the US Constitution and made absurd demands, the police said no. Every attempt to intimidate them was met with pointed questions and a swift rebuttal. Please let me go ahead and call no. her so she can head there. No. She's sleeping, please. By the time you get booked in and everything, it'll be early enough in the morning, you can call her and she'll probably be getting up. This is gonna so take why, hours? It's not gonna take hours, but it's gonna take some Sorry, time. Turner, please. Can, can you just the answer is that? no. You got some karma. I'm not worried about my karma. I know, I know. No, you know what I'm actually worried about? People like You're you who think that laws don't, no, that, there is no, no quota. There, there it's people like you who matter. believe that laws don't pertain to them. I, and that's just they not don't. the case. They don't. Then enjoy spending a lifetime in and out of jail because I've that never is been what to will jail. happen. Though it, though it won't, actually. If you continue to act like this and do this, it will. I, I'm not acting like anything. Then I'm I would suggest moving back to Mississippi. Are. I'm not moving back to Mississippi. Then either. if you stay living here and driving a car without getting a valid driver's license, <laughs> that is what is going to happen. I've already, I've already been through roadblocks with state troopers with this. Then they're not very good state troopers. Yes, they are, because they know their, their rights. And no, they know the law. They, no. If they let you through with this garbage, they're not. This is not garbage. It's garbage. Have, have you done any research into it? I, more than you will ever know. Okay. You're not well, the then first you would one. Know it's not garbage. You're not the first person I've run across that thinks this way. And, uh, yeah, I know. And we're, those, we're a those, problem right those now. other people went to jail too. Good, good. It's not it good. Doesn't it shouldn't the fact happen. That I do not have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Mm -hmm. I do not. I'm okay. not a commercial driver. I'm not driving people around. I'm, I'm traveling. That is considered a part of my home. And I do not have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Sergeant Turner's calm demeanor prevailed as she struggled to defend her distorted views of the law. Just when she believed she had the upper hand, Karma would soon prove her wrong. I suppose you don't have to have a registration either. No. Your tag's expired. Okay, you know who I am, you run my tag. So here's what I am curious about. You're right, I do wanna know more. Is that your car? Yes, that's my so car. So you're the registered owner of that car? Yes. So at one point it had a valid tag and registration. Right, because if I rode around without any tag, that would just be asking you for trouble. So instead you're okay just riding around with an illegal expired tag. It's not illegal. So you're basically masking the fact that you don't believe you the laws apply to you. And I so, have to do whatever I have, run through these hoops that y'all put us through just to get by. You mean these? Yes. <laughs> Where's the <laughs> in the car? There's no in that car. Seems to be. The it's in the pawn shop. When did you pawn it? Like two months ago. So why are you still just carrying around? I didn't know that guy was in there. What's wrong with carrying around? What, can nothing, I do nothing, all right, is wrong with it, but if there's a normally there's a and since the vehicle's being towed, we want to keep the gun in safekeeping. 15 Gulf Breeze, even though you sent the warrant, stand by. Give me your full name, give me your full name. Look at me, give me your full name. 
You are under, under arrest now for possession of felony. Even after being shown concrete evidence, Karens like her refuse to admit defeat, still challenging the officer's knowledge. Each attempt was met with calm, rational responses. I didn't give y'all permission to search my vehicle either. Your vehicle's being towed. We're inventorying it. We're not searching it. Yes, you are. You're searching my vehicle. You say that our laws don't matter to you, so what does it matter? Obviously, I don't have any laws right now. No, there's plenty of laws. You're just breaking them. I don't have to mind laws that, that, aren't, that aren't valid. They're valid laws. They are not valid laws. The United States and the state of Florida seem to think they are. The United States has a constitution mm -hmm. that we, we fall under. Right. Statutes, and, mandates, and codes. So None of that matters. So under our constitution, it still gives the, go the state governments the right to govern themselves, correct? That's right. And the sheriff has all and the power. That's right. So he is yes, the he, yes. head law enforcement officer. He is not officer. part of NATO. He's not part of the Council on I'm not. I'm not part of NATO either. Well, you, you, you take orders from the top. No, I don't. Yes, you do. You know who I take my orders from? My chief of police. Exactly. And he takes orders from the top. Who's the top? You want me to give him one name? I mean, that would be impossible. Well, I don't know who the top is. I know, because you haven't done the research. I guess I'm just an ignorant cop. Nope, you said that. I didn't say that. Well, that's what you're implying implying that I only take orders from the top. You do take orders from the top. That's how it works. Afraid not. I know the Constitution. I've learned it. I know the Constitution, too. I also know that the states you know have the, the right to govern themselves. Has been turned into oh, and I'm sure you're the expert. I, I, you're not. I have rights, and I live in America. Correct. You and decide I don't, I don't, which laws I to follow. I don't take orders from anybody. Nobody's giving you except orders. Except God. Nobody's giving you orders. Despite her use of God as an excuse and her distorted legal views, the officers remained calm and professional throughout her arrest. Karma, however, would teach its own lesson, one she'd soon learn in jail. Right now, to jail. yeah, because you violated Florida state I law. I violated a law that someone made up that, that's not legal. The Constitution was made up yeah. by people. <laughs> Yeah, and God. Those same people put laws into place even back then. Our, our constitution was changed in 1776 and in 1871. I don't think it was changed in 1776. It, it, it was written in 1772. Ah, there we go. And it was it was changed in 1871. I'll have to take your word on that one. Because you haven't done the research. Because I don't need to. I don't know anything, but I do know my job. And I know my yeah, officers know we, their job. You know the orders that you're supposed to do. No, I just know that you have to have a driver's the license. The people in the community. We don't should be helping the people. We do help. No, you don't. Mm, we do. You don't know about. You don't know anything about us. I do. To sit there I and do. say that I don't help anyone, that my officers over there don't help anyone. Y'all aren't helping me right now. You're not helping yourself because you choose to no, not no, get a no, valid no, no, driver's no, that's, license. That's totally changing. You're just playing a victim. I'm not. I'm not playing a victim. That's what you're doing. I'm not a victim. I'll never be a victim. I hate that mentality. Then, then, then why are you playing all these excuses as to you don't need a driver's license? It's not license? an excuse. I have the laws in that car. That's why I ride around with them. Why? To I educate, have the book of the Constitution To, to educate people like me? I don't think that you're interested in learning anything. I, I don't think, think you're you, very stubborn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think you know anything about me to even get to make that comment. She was taken into custody at Santa Rosa County Jail, facing a felony for contraband and misdemeanors for driving without a license and driving while inebriated. Her bond was set at $11,500 with no further updates on her case. More Karen cases are on the way. If you're enjoying this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Now for the next Karen's antics caught on body cam. Apparently, engaging a sleeping Karen can be like waking a dragon. Chaos would ensue on June 21st, 2022, when a routine exchange at a local gas station in Florida quickly turned heated for Escambia County Sheriff's officers. Sheriff's office. Hey, how's it going? I'm sorry. I'm been waiting for somebody to send me money. Uh, What's that? I've been waiting for somebody to send me money because I'm out of gas. You're out of gas? You remember being woken up this morning? 
Yes. Not so when you can't sleep. Shortly after that, it's so hard. Where are you from? It's cold. It's cold? Mm hmm They were supposed to be bringing you some gas money. Well, we're supposed to be sending it on Cash App. Do you need EMS or anything? Yeah. What's that? No. No? Okay. Have you drank anything, took anything that made you pass out? No, I just have been up for like 24 hours. Yeah? Do you have an ID with you? She appeared confused, and her sluggish behavior raised suspicion. Despite this, the deputies remained skeptical, sensing she might be hiding something, prompting them to press further. Is there a bag? No, there's no Okay. All right, well, in part time, there's a such one. Make sure there wasn't yeah. a in the bag itself. The owner of the vehicle, the original owner of the vehicle. So you're, you're not the restaurant owner? Not at the moment, no. What do you mean, not at the moment? They, well, he went to jail a couple of days ago. For what? I don't know. They weren't out of town. You used to look for your ID. Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I look in there and look for your ID? Yeah, I mind. Okay. Ow. I saw you sitting on a car and there's something underneath you. Would that be it? Not mm -hmm. it? Last night I ran out of gas in Atmore. I so he falls asleep, so it's like a crime now. So what I'm is tired. it? Tired. This is crazy. Her confrontational behavior raised red flags. The deputies knew they had to proceed cautiously, but still push forward for the truth. When her answers didn't add up, they decided to take immediate action. What have I done wrong? What's your first name? Can I get answers, please? Well, I'm asking you for your name because I got to make sure you're not one for me. Where I got to make not, sure it's because I not stolen. When I had um, come up <clears throat> last night. Okay, well, that was, that's that how I got here. That was last night. We're here right now. So, you're, are you a convicted felon or are you not a convicted felon? I mean, I don't know how that works. It changed. Have you ever been convicted of a felony? Have you been charged with a felony and convicted of a felony? Felony habitual drug laundry. What's that? Is that a felony habitual drug laundry? <laughs> Well, it is a felony, but what matters is if you've been convicted of a felony. What does that matter? Go and step out for me, okay? Step out. What do you mean? Step out for Go and step out. Please talk to me. We are, but we need you to step out. Not the extradited, but you're talking about the Alberta. Nope. What happened? You said you were talking to me. Now ain't nobody snatched on you. Put your hands behind your back for me. Just put your hands behind your back No, sir. Put your hands behind your back. He's going to talk to me first, and then we'll talk to you. I have rights, too, you know. Yes, ma'am, we do. And we're not violating your rights. Yeah, you are. No, you I'm cannot, sorry you feel you that way. You cannot detain me without telling me anything. Yes, ma'am, we can. No, you can't. As a matter of fact, you cannot. You have it home. We'll make sure she ain't on her pockets. I don't, you know, please, some what's going on. The driver's odd behavior became clear as more evidence piled up. In true Karen fashion, she stood defiant, insisting on her innocence. When she name-dropped a police officer, suspicions deepened, prompting further investigation. Right now, there's a report from back on the 19th of this car being stolen. On the 19th from the man that went to jail that told me that he drive yes, it? No, you, you cannot you. arrest me for this car. I was given right this now. car. I'm trying to, we're trying to, you want to see my text messages? Just relax, okay? Right now you're being detained. The 19th. Let's all figure out what's going on with Who this. Who was the 19th? The owner of this vehicle. Who is the owner? How do you know him? I met him, you know, met him a Maybe. while back. Okay. All right. Let's have a Sergeant Caleb, like right now. Sergeant who? Caleb. Who's Sergeant Caleb? Well, you'll know when you call the number. I send my phone. I'm not calling anybody. You're, yeah, you're supposed to. I'm supposed to tell you that. You're, you're supposed to tell me a sergeant. All right, keep on. You're supposed to. I'm not going to call Sergeant it's Caleb. Skippy County. Because I don't know a Sergeant Caleb. Really, that's his first name. Okay, well, I don't know people by their first name. We go by last names. Well, I'll give you the phone number. I'm told to tell y'all to call him. Roger that. Dude, these don't 
stop. I've got two more back here. <laughs> There's one, two, one front, and then four right here. Okay. Faced with mounting evidence, she remained indifferent, questioning the deputy's motives. Her attempts to assert her rights only met with rational responses, which irritated her further. If you're coming in here, you're responsible for anything inside that vehicle. I didn't say it was mine. Yes, you did. Oh, I did? Yes, I was going to say that someone told me to hold on to it while they went to jail. Okay, well, if you're I driving it, you have possession of it, which means everything within said well, vehicle you is yours. Please call the officer that I told you. Like you said, if you get in trouble, tell All them. Right. To you have the right me. to remain silent. Do you hear me? Anything you say can be used okay. against you in court. You need to call the you have the right to figure to out what's going on. Thank you. You have the right. Do you understand the rights I just read to you? No. What right. are y'all I'll read them again. You have the right to remain silent. If you if you will be quiet, I'll read these off so you can understand your your rights. I said I don't understand what I'm being arrested for. So there's a title. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand that? I do. What am I being arrested for? Do you understand that? I was specifically told by a guy way above your pay grade, buddy, that if you are ever in trouble, tell them to call me. Well, good for him, whoever he is or she. He's a sergeant of the DEA. Oh well, good for him. So call. But he's not here. He said to tell y'all to call him. I'm not sure he's not here. So, All right. anything you say, oh, you get you so in court. Arrogant. Do you understand that? Uh, I understand you're done. Can I speak to the other guy? See no. what he thinks? No. Yeah. Sir, you're supposed to call Sergeant Caleb for the DA. Thank you. All right. She believed intimidation and name dropping would halt the questioning, but she was wrong. Her defiance only pushed the police to press further and ignore her tactics. Don't worry about it. No, do worry about it. I was told, ever told if I was in trouble to call Sergeant of the DA, I have a phone number in my phone to tell y'all to call him. Caleb is his name. If he wants all does, he can No, he has the other know. No, he, I'm not right, supposed to. Do you want me to read your rights to you? Yes or no? Do you understand? Right. I'm a, oh my God. I don't care if you're a CI. But that, I don't and care. I have, okay, you're going to care. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay. You committed a crime by having in your vehicle that you shouldn't have in there, okay? Oh, and, I was watching. And if they, you are a CI, you're a, a pretty CI because you're not supposed to tell us you're a CI. I, was, so, I didn't tell you I was a CI. Yes, you, you did. You put words in my mouth. Are you brain I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to show it. Do you not realize you can't charge me for either? I don't know what anything. Uh, if I it stole was, it. It was in your bag. That it you're, wasn't in my bag. That you were looking for your ID in. Because I looked through everything because I have a was in my bag. Look, either I stole the car and I'm not responsible. I mean, we haven't uh, made contact with the owner. We could seize it for safekeeping to return to said owner. Right. Until. Let me call. Let me call LP real quick. To see if he wants us to seize it or if he just wants us to tow it. Um, I would take pictures of it. Is that what um, you would do? I would. <laughs> Listen, wait. Um, that way well, you can... well, it's on my body cam where it came out of. Okay. I mean, that's a G bump. No. Well, that was under a legal search then, sir. No. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm yes, sorry, sir. That way. I promise you cannot touch that vehicle if you're not, if I didn't steal it. I need to talk to that guy. Finally, the sleeping Karen was fully awake, clinging to her sense of entitlement. Her lengthy monologues were mostly ignored, but when she learned of a new charge, her frustration nearly boiled over. Illegal surge! Excuse me, I need to speak to you, sir. They won't listen to me. I need to speak to you. They won't listen to me, sir. And now they know they're in trouble, so they're lying. Sir, may I speak with you? They're trying to backpedal because they know they illegally searched my car. Why are you locking the door tighter? You think I'm gonna get out? You're weird. All my rights have been violated. I need to talk to somebody immediately before you have some big story behind this. You're going down, down, down. It don't matter. All right, you got a new charge of grand theft auto of motor vehicle. How? No, who reported it? That's funny, then you can't charge me with the other stuff. Which one is it? I need to talk to you, sir. I need to talk to you. Y'all are funny. I didn't steal nothing. This is crazy. So what's the charge? Possession or grand theft? Because I didn't steal nothing. Y'all can't get y'all's act together.
Y'all can't figure out what you want to do because y'all won't listen to what I'm telling you. Her attention-seeking persisted, boasting of government connections and promises of legal action against the deputies. However, all attempts to escape her legal troubles were futile. Keep going, keep digging. Keep digging. Why don't you ask me questions instead of trying to figure it out what y'all are going to lie and say? Uh, on record, I know I'm being recorded. The three of them are sitting there trying to, in cahoots, trying to figure out how to backpedal out of the leak they've done. Can I please talk to somebody with a brain? The suspect was taken into custody at the Escambia County Jail. She was charged with two counts, a felony for possessing property from a convicted person and a misdemeanor for contraband in her vehicle. Her bond was set at $11,000 with no further updates on the case. Enjoying the video? Hit the like button and give us a thumbs up. Now let's check out another Karen caught on police camera. A Karen's distorted views about the law often lead to clashes with police. On March 10, 2023, a traffic stop turned chaotic when a suspect challenged deputies and nearly endangered her child. Swift action prevented an accident and taught her a lesson. Good afternoon. Davis Scott, the Sheriff's Office. You know why I pulled you over? Yeah. Why? Well, which, which offense? <laughs> I, I don't know. Why do you think? Do you know why I pulled you over? What do you, what do you need, hon? Uh, well, this is a traffic stop. Yeah. And so I pulled you over, one, because I watched you cross the center line twice. I watched yeah. you cross the white line once. I was him. And then you also ran the stop sign coming off of 18 oh, on the 441. Yes, ma'am, yes, you did. Sir. You've got yeah, to come I'll to fight that. That's, That's you can cool. fight whatever you want. All right. You so step out the vehicle for me. So you can shut it off. Step out. I have my kid. Who That's. I need to talk. Nobody, you're not going anywhere. I'm just having you step off because all these cars are passing me. Do you see all the cars no, coming? This is all your safety. I'm not stupid. Stop. You can step out of the vehicle for all your safety reasons because all these cars are coming by me. Sure. And we're going to walk back to the front of my car. Do you have a driver's license with you? Nope. You don't have a driver's license with you? No. no I have a car. Okay. All right. Can you just walk back to the front of my car? Sure. Yes, ma'am. Who do I need to call? Watch. Don't walk in the road. Get over there. Please stop. Stop what? Talk. Call. Tom Mansfield. I'm right. not Please. calling anybody. Have a seat in front of my car. No. Have a seat in front of my car. No. Yes, ma'am. You do. All these cars I are passing by. Have to. The deputy noticed Jessica's growing agitation and refusal to cooperate. Aware of her child, he tried to de-escalate the situation, but her boastful attitude caused it to escalate into chaos. Who's the car registered to? My grandmother. Okay, so it's not you. Yeah. Sounds no. good. Do you have anybody that come get that kid? What now? Do you have anybody that come get this kid? Yeah. Do I need to make a phone you call do. like I asked you, you earlier? You do. I know, honey. I'm okay. not stupid. Okay. Well, go ahead and make that phone call. Cool. Give me a phone, please. Right. You, you don't have a phone with it? Yeah. Nope. And you don't have a driver's license either, right? I don't, nope. I got nothing. Right. No, no, no. So, no. Put your hands behind your back. Ooh. Put your hands behind your back. Ooh. You do not stop. Stop. What's your stop. stop. What is your stop? What's your stop, Jessica? Jessica, stop now. Stop. Right? Stop. Scott, stop. Stop. Right? Stop. 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 You stop, don't know Jessica. Who I am. Stop. Ooh. Stop. Stop. I oh my god. Stop. What the f stop now. Stop. Oh. Bring the one cup on her. Oh, oh, they're right behind you. Grab them. Yeah. Oh. Hey, be still. So there's a dog no, in the car. Go He's ahead. Not... Go ahead. Arrest me. Go ahead. Go ahead. You are under arrest. Be still. Oh, no, honey. I'm about to find. I got it. Right. What's your name? Got... You. What's your name? Hey. What's your name? Stop now. In typical Karen fashion, she continued her belligerence, bragging about the people she knew. Her attempts to intimidate the deputies failed as they ignored her and stayed focused on their duties. Stop! I have back injury. Stop. Stop! Be still. Oh yeah, no, I'm so bad. Oh, I'm the worst. All I do is ask you to put your hands on your back. I asked you what your name was. I told you that when I pulled you over. Get up. What, what's your Stand name? Stand up, Jessica. Oh, sure, let's... Stop! Stop! My kid is You're in going car. in I... this car. Stop! My kid is in my Stop! Car. Hey, be still, Jessica. You're making this. You you're doing this in front of your kid. Stop. My, have a seat. My kid is standing. We're going to talk to him. Have a seat. I don't care. Have a seat. Stop touching me. Slide in the car, Get Jessica. The 
Go off Slide me. in his car. <laughs> get in the car. Your kids want to see you get sprayed. Cyrus, get in you're the done. car. Jessica, have a seat. You're going to get sprayed. I'm telling you right now, I don't it's care. So I don't care, hun. I don't care. Along with securing the suspect, the police ensured the child's safety by engaging him in light conversation and reassuring him that his mother would be fine. You all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm good. Hey, buddy. Hey, is that dog going to hurt us? Does your dog bite? Is that dog going to hurt us? She, she's a bulldog. She will not bite. Well, what's your name, buddy? Hey, just so you know, your mommy's okay, okay? Okay. She just tripped on that hill right there. She's fine. Okay. You be tough for me? You want a badge? You, you want a sticker badge? Yeah? Let me get you one of those, okay? You're fine. Okay, your mama just tripped on that hill. Okay. I'm gonna let you talk to her in a second. There you go, buddy. Let's make you a deputy, okay? Okay. There you go. Step right in there like I got one. Look at that. You gonna be okay? okay. Yeah? All right, let's try those tears up, buddy. You're fine. Your mommy's fine. I'm gonna let you talk to her in a second, okay? She just gotta calm down. She's a little upset. Okay. All right. Sound good? Okay, buddy. While the deputies discussed Jessica's case, she continued making sleazy remarks. Expecting this, they stayed calm until she was transferred to the detention facility. She, I got her here. So as soon as I walked up, yeah, I don't care. As soon as I walked up, she was all over the road. She runs a stop sign. I walk up. She rolls down the window. I'm like, hey, I'm David Scott. You know I pulled you over? You tell me. So I'm, I'm going to let you guess what she, she's like. I don't know. So you were swerving? She almost got sprayed. So... Oh man, you should mark that down. Wow. This, I'm fucking talking to her. So, do we have someone to get No, I never, she never got to make a call. Huh? She didn't get to make a call. She said, I said, you got someone to call? She said, yeah. I said, all right. She said, I need your phone. I said, we'll get that and say, you don't have a phone? She said, nope, I don't have a phone. I said, so you're driving with this kid and you don't have a phone? She said, nope. So I grabbed one and threw her handcuffs. Jessica was taken into custody by the Columbia County Detention Facility and faced multiple charges related to the case, as well as various traffic infractions. No further updates on her case were released to the public. Like and subscribe for all the latest updates and never miss out.